Mikey, you here, bro? Yo! Hey, what's up? I need to type something, man. What's up? All right. Remember when that Thomas came after us, bro? Hey, yo. Oh, man. I still have nightmares about it. Me bro. too. I feel like I've been seeing him everywhere, you know? Like, I've been hearing him, like, his whistle and all that. I think I'm haunted. Last night I heard the whistle. No way, really? Yeah. Are you sure you just weren't on the toilet? <sighs> I think. I think I was. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, honestly, I've been hearing Thomas, like, all the time. Oh! What, what happened, bro? The lights are off. Mikey? Oh, man. What the heck? Mikey, what's going on, bro? Mikey, what? What happened to you? YouTube, what is going on, man? Realistic Gaming here, and today we're back with another Choo Choo Charles vs. Kurt Thomas animation by Game Stories. And with that being said, let's go ahead and watch these two famous trains collide and see who remains victorious in the end. And let me know what team you are. Team Chop Chop, Charles, or Curse Thomas. Something is chasing him, but we cannot make out what. Whatever it is, it is big. It steps shaking oh. the ground. The man looks over his shoulder and can see the silhouette of something shaped like a train he trips over a root and falls to the ground oh what a he scrambles backward away from the creature chasing him and bumps right into choo choo charles oh. himself in front of him thomas.exe crawls into view why he look like that the man between two enormous train monsters things had been quiet on erinirum island for a few weeks now a little too quiet which normally meant that Choo Choo Charles was getting ready to do something diabolical again. The citizens got together and held a town meeting to see what to do. No one wanted to be the one to risk winding up as Choo Choo Charles' lunch until Warren Charles III decided to sweeten the deal. He offered a large monetary reward to anyone who was willing to head down into the mine and check things out. Dude, what a coward Mike, he's the paid mailman, people. <laughs> who was saving up for a ski vacation with his family, volunteered to take on the potentially dangerous mission. He grabbed his mailbag, ordinarily reserved for carrying, well, mail, and filled it with supplies. A lantern, a rifle, and some muffins just in case he got hungry on the way. With his bag packed and a promise of wealth waiting for him, I just broke Thomas. What even is this? I don't know. I broke him. <laughs> On the other side, he prepared to venture into Choo Choo Charles's domain. Neither rain, nor snow, nor sleet, nor giant man-eating train spider would keep this mailman from his appointed task. Oh. Mike headed into the entrance to the mine, holding his lantern to illuminate the darkness inside. He couldn't see much, only the tunnel stretching on seemingly forever. A little bit into the tunnel, he spotted an empty minecart. Well, Mike the mailman was one who valued working smarter over working harder, so he hopped into the cart and began to ride it deeper into the mine. Along the way, he kept an eye out for any signs of Choo Choo Charles, but he didn't see anything. The minecart ran out right, of track and came to a stop, there for a ride. Right. Mike out and sending him flying forward onto the ground. He lifted his lantern as he sat up, dusting himself off, and caught a glimpse of glitter and color as the light fell on a cluster of eggs. If Charles had eggs, oh, they, yeah, they gotta be, be uh, Charles eggs. Away. These eggs would serve as proof that he had, in fact, gone down into the mine like he promised he would. He scooped the eggs up and stuffed them into his mailbag. Warren Charles III would have to give now him he's a stealing reward eggs? if he brought back these. But what if Charles caught him stealing the eggs? Mike glanced over his shoulder nervously. Still no sign of Choo Choo Charles. Maybe he had left the mine and gone somewhere else on the island. Before Mike could think about it any longer, he heard the rumble of something huge moving through the tunnel, getting closer and It's gotta closer. be Charles. Grabbing the rifle out of his bag, Mike backed up towards the minecart ready to make a break for it as soon as he had to. The rumbling sound Where did he get that from, bro? His inventory? Louder, and Mike braced for the sight of the infamous Choo Choo Charles. But instead of the familiar bulging white eyes and wide red smile, the creature peering around the corner at Mike greeted him with glowing red eyes. Who's Thomas? Long, long neck that stretched out like a snake. As it scuttled closer, he could make out an enormous train body with spider legs, just like Choo Choo Charles, but this was something else. Whatever it was, Mike was not going to stick around and find out. He jumped into the minecart and hoped it would be fast enough to Dude, this Curse Thomas. How does he not know Curse Thomas, but he knows Tucci Charles? Mike could hear the roaring of the train spider just behind him. He turned to look and saw those glowing red eyes getting closer and closer as the monster pursued the cart. He fired a shot at the creature, but nothing seemed to slow it down. After a second look, he was certain that it was not Choo Choo Charles. But then, what was it? Curse Thomas! Choo Choo Charles. 
The minecart screeched to a stop again, but Mike hadn't used up the whole track. He turned and saw that Thomas.exe had grabbed a hold of the back of the cart and was stretching its neck out toward him. That wide smile looked ready to swallow him. Oh, he dead. Mike fired another shot, and this one hit. While the creature was distracted, he climbed out of the cart and sprinted toward the exit. Mike raced through the forest, listening as Thomas.exe roared and scuttled out of the mine behind him. He just had to keep running until the monster lost track of him. There was no other choice. He wasn't strong enough to fight it by himself. He looked over his shoulder and could see Thomas.exe gaining on him. He had to pick up the pace. He was so preoccupied with escaping that he didn't see the root jutting out of the ground up ahead of him. He caught his foot on the root and crashed to the ground. He crawled backwards, trying to stand back up. Dude, that's his he felt second his back time falling. Something metal. He turned and saw Choo Choo Charles curled up in the forest clearing. Oh. If Mike didn't know any better, he'd say that Charles was hurt. He looked like he had a rough day with scratches on his sides and Dude, face. Dude, he looks busted. Suddenly, what? he understood what had happened. Thomas must have attacked Charles and chased him out of his lair. Behind him, he could hear Thomas approaching. He'd have to think fast. Mike pulled a muffin out of his mailbag and waved it in front of Charles' <laughs> face. The train spider woke up smelling the tasty treat and snatched it out of Mike's hand. Mike scrambled back from Charles, not wanting to join the muffin in his stomach. But it had worked. Charles was awake. And not a moment too soon, because Thomas had caught up to Mike. Mike ducked behind a tree, hiding from Thomas.exe. He could only hope that the two train spiders would be distracted by each other, and he could use that opportunity to escape. At the sight of Thomas, Choo Choo Charles let out a mighty screech, skittering towards the enemy train spider. The two behemoths collided with a mighty crash and a flurry of spindly legs and sharp teeth. Oh. To Mike's horror, Thomas they knocked Charles to his side, knocking trees to the ground as he landed. Oh no. Thomas was clearly a lot stronger than Charles, especially in his injured state. What could Came he do? Thomas. He couldn't exactly join in on the fight. He could be eaten alive or crushed. As he watched, Charles flipped himself back over and rushed Thomas again. He chomped onto Thomas's long neck and bit down, refusing to let go even as the other train monster tried to shake him off. He was holding his own for now, but what would happen when Thomas knocked Charles down oh. for good? He would probably head into town next, and who knew what kind of destruction he'd cause. Mike couldn't just sit there and watch. Suddenly, he remembered the eggs he had stuffed into his mailbag. He remembered a story he had heard about what happened when Charles's eggs were taken to the ancient temple and destroyed. The energy would transform Charles into a bigger, deadlier version of himself. Maybe if Mike helped him transform, Charles could defeat Thomas. There wasn't much time. No matter how scared or tired he was, Mike had to get to the temple, and fast. He ran as fast as he could until he reached the temple, and he pulled the eggs out of his bag. He hoped that this was the right thing to do. It wasn't like Charles was something to mega Charles. trust. But as his grandma used to say, it's better to have the devil you know than the devil you don't. Charles was the familiar evil, and he would take that over Thomas any day. Mike placed the eggs into the temple prism, and a massive beam of energy shot out. Did it work? Only one way to find out. Mike arrived back at the scene of the epic battle between Thomas and Charles just in time to see Charles transform. Oh. He grew larger, red spikes growing out of his legs and red energy glowing all over his body. Thomas's glowing eyes widened a little bit, almost as if he was afraid, and he had good Nah, my boy Thomas is scared. The transformed Charles reared back and charged at his enemy, knocking into him hard enough to send Thomas flying back, crashing through the trees. Before he could even get up, Charles was over him again, attacking him and knocking him over, rolling Thomas over and over all the way back towards the mine. Mike followed, watching the powerful monster that was Thomas being thrown back and forth like a ragdoll. Thomas tried to fight back, gnashing his teeth and scratching at Charles with his spider legs, but Charles had become too strong no, to even notice the attacks. He was focused on taking Thomas back to his lair. Mike couldn't figure out what Charles was doing, but he couldn't look away either. At the entrance to the mine, Charles suddenly stopped attacking, letting Thomas fall to the ground. Then, Charles grabbed Thomas and backed He's into the darkness him? of the tunnel, dragging Thomas's limp body as he went. Mike could just barely make out the sight of Charles opening his mouth and looked away as he heard the sounds Why of Charles Why is Bro Devalu still even looking? Like, spot. get out of there. Time to head back to town to collect his Like, reward. go home, Wait, bro. What are you doing? Without the eggs, how could he prove that he had been into the mine? He needed to go back in and grab another Guy's one, a as much as he wanted to do anything else. Mike grabbed his lantern and his rifle, and once again descended into the mines. This time, it didn't take him Kill long to find the eggs. He took only one, 
wanting to get out of there as soon as possible. As soon as he turned to leave and hop back into the minecart, he saw Choo Choo Charles staring right at him. Charles looked at Mike and at the egg in his hand. The creature growled, scuttling towards Mike and putting himself between Better Mike give it and back. the minecart. There was no way out. This Better it. give it. But as Charles opened oh, his mouth dead. to devour Mike alive, the mailman had a sudden idea. Muffin. He reached into his bag and pulled out the other muffin, muffin for the win. For the day. He held it out to Charles, just like he had in the forest. Charles stared at the muffin thoughtfully, sniffing it a few times. Mike sat the muffin on the ground and gestured for Charles muffin to Muffin saves it. a day. The monster gobbled up the muffin, and a look of recognition came across his face. He tilted his head to the side thoughtfully, then stared at the egg in Mike's hand again. Mike put the egg back where he found it as Charles watched. Then he put up his hands in a gesture of peace. Much to his surprise, Choo Choo Charles began to back away a mouldy, one man. slow step at a time. Then the no creature way. turned and skittered off down the tunnel before he disappeared into the darkness once more. No way Charles Mike didn't need him. the minecart and rode it back to the entrance, then stepped back out into the fresh air. What had just happened? Choo Choo Charles had caught him, stealing an egg and trespassing in his lair. And he let him live? This was almost as strange as Thomas.exe and watching the two of them fight each other. Maybe Choo Choo Charles understood somehow that Mike had helped him beat Thomas and take his home back. Or maybe he just wasn't hungry anymore after such a big meal, plus a muffin. I highly dessert. doubt that. By the way, Mike was happy to escape with his life. He ran all the way back to town and didn't look back. Mike told everyone what he had seen, but no one believed him. It must have been the stress making him imagine things, or maybe he was just trying to get more money out of Warren Charles III. But whatever it was, they just didn't buy his version of events. After all, one <laughs> well, monstrous spider Mike. train was wild enough, but two? <laughs> That would just be ridiculous. Dang, bro, we left right in his face. The man paid him to go to the cave, then didn't believe his story at the end. Just continued to laugh, bro. That is messed up. Like, he literally risked his life to go in there and see what was in the cave. And he just became a laughing stock. More of the story is don't do anything for money from a correct person because they'll just laugh at you, bro. You've seen it right here. All right, you guys. Well, that was Choo Choo Charles versus Curse Thomas or Thomas CX or whatever you want to call it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video or not in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll leave the link to the original video in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves and thank y'all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one